Russia and India have resumed talks on the joint Sukhoi L 5th generation fighter aircraft FGFA project after nearly a year of stagnation. The Times of India reports. We have got the clearance to restart the talks. Accordingly, the Russian team is here and cost negotiations began yesterday. A high-level defense source told the newspaper on Wednesday. Russia made a new offer, under which India would have to pay $3.7 billion, instead of $6 billion, for the technological know-how and three prototypes of packed pa fighters, the Times of India said. According to the newspaper, the Russian delegation will also hold negotiations on the production of 200 Como 220 60 helicopters. The contract to produce the helicopters for India's Air Force was signed during Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's December visit to Moscow. The FGFA project came about following the Russian-Indian Cooperation Agreement signed on October 18, 2007. The estimated total cost of the project in 2008 amounted to $11 billion, which was to be covered through equal investment by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Russia's Sukhoi Company. The works on the Russian-Indian fifth-generation fighter aircraft FGFA are going on schedule, and the draft contract on the design and development efforts is now being prepared. Deputy Director of Russia's arms exporting company Rossoborn Export Sergei Gorslavsky told reporters on Tuesday. The work is going on schedule. The draft design and development contract is currently being prepared after which the road map on the plane's production will be determined. The negotiations are conducted constantly and intensively, but you can't jump over your own head, because everything should be agreed upon. Gorslavsky said. Previously, the contract for FGFA design and development works was supposed to be signed in. Rossobotan Export also informed last spring that the FGFA demonstrator would be made. The company said previously that the fighter's rough technical design was finished in summer. We are presenting Brahmos to many Indian public and private defense companies. From some of them we get a technical job. We presented it also to developers of the FGFA. They asked to adjust the size of the missile, so it can be placed on board the aircraft. Such work is ongoing, Mishra told R.I.A. Novorsti during the exhibition Diff Expo India 2016. He also said the four nations are negotiating the purchase of the supersonic Brahmos cruise missiles. Defense export is a very sensitive subject. We cannot say much without permission of our governments. However, I can say that currently consultations are being held with for foreign countries, Mishra told R.I.A. Novorsti. He did not specify which nations are interested in buying the missiles. BrahMos is a short-range supersonic missile, which has been used by the Indian Navy since 2005. The missile has a range of 180 miles and can carry a conventional warhead of up to 660 pounds. BrahMos Aerospace was formed by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation and Russia's NPO Mashino Stroenia. It produces weapons systems using Russian and Indian technology. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.